Mm-hmm. Okay. Short and sweet. Not a 15-minute interview. No 15 minutes, like a deep analysis of the game. <laughs> you want to finish that curtain? Yeah, I'll get that curtain. So, and tarps? Feeling pretty good. Took I'm some... Took an, uh, an absolute game. 3-1 over Kraftis. Not only did you knock him out, but you put him in losers and then took another three games off him for Grand Finals. You were on fire. It was, it was pretty clean. What do you think you did differently here? Um, let's see. I started using F Smash more because mm -hmm. there are a lot of times when I'll just I'll read his spin dash and once he starts spinning for long enough, he, he has to spin out of it. And if you can just if you're charging F Smash from further than like a Falcon dash grab away, you can just react as soon as he starts spinning. So I didn't I didn't I only got a couple of those, but something that comes out quicker that can stop spin dash is uh when he's spin dashing for a while and you you just you don't know what to do because he's just sitting there spinning so you're like afraid. So you just throw out a down beat because he has to either jump out of it, do the little spin jump thing, or or spin at you and down beat will beat it. Yeah. Or I'm pretty sure the sour spot might clank with it for whatever. I, I saw you doing a lot of different stuff. You were holding him at the edge with those uh, those down angle forward smashes. Yep. And when he was charging it up and you were sitting with uh, the jab, just pull out a down B and punish him for it. Yep, that's what I was, I was definitely doing that. And that's mm -hmm. so strong, because that'll, that'll do like 13%, and if he gets close enough, he can kill. It'll kill yeah. like 120 when, he get, when it's up close. I think it does like 10% far, far away. It was Not great. Not non-sweet spot. Great, uh, great sets. And now, I saw Duck Hunt twice. Yep. Is that I, a good I was, uh, I was looking up some fatality videos, and apparently he that's, that's his favorite stage to counter pick to and I can see why I never I never really noticed it that much first at first because like I would just never think of it I'm just like a oh, battlefield town city dreamland but now that I think of it it's so good for Falcon because his recovery is booty yeah it is but you have a wall to bounce off of to mix up your recovery and the boundaries are short so like you're not going to be recovering from deep and it's easier to snap to the ledge because it's a, it's a rectangle shape kind of thing yep so that's, that's how it benefits him. You can also get the, the nice early F throw kills, jab kills. Falcon likes to kill off the side, and yeah, it has it absolutely. has weird like side, it has short side blast zones. Um, I and, am so, hold on, keep going. And it's just like easy to juggle on that stage for some reason. I can I can recover different ways. I can get I can stay up high when I wanna when I wanna retreat. I can go up there and I can recover onto the bush sometimes. And the dog will help. The dog usually yeah. helps me more than I saw you me. get saved a few times by the yeah. dog. The same with the ducks, too. I noticed he started taking them out because I think twice when he went for the up air, it would clip the duck first. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I think. So it, it would make me like easier to air dodge out of or something? Easier because... to air dodge or it would hit that first. Okay. So you weren't getting clipped by it. And I noticed it got to a point. He would always get the dogs. Oh, uh, the ducks, I mean. That's I, why he started doing it. I was just it. like, whatever. They can... They can chill. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't bother going for them. At one point, I even saw him take it to Battlefield, I think. That's not a stage we see from uh, from Casey. Do you think he just uh, got inside his head? I think he likes that stage because the way it, the way the, um, the, lead, the edges are, mm -hmm. it's really easy to get Falcon and down smash him almost for free. I um, also... Uh, and he likes to put the trampoline on the top. And he, and if, he used to get this on me, but I'm to it now but he uh he would he would just sit in shield and roll around on the top platform until i did something that was just like just barely in his grab range and then he'd up throw to up air me and i'd die off the top i also noticed some great recovery avoidance of the springs but also avoiding yep. those forward smashes and down smashes oh, that will usually those clip back so scary you there are a couple of times when it would have been the set yeah i thought it was going to be set and quite was a few lean times back lean forward by like a centimeter and he was like, yeah he'd be like, and, and honestly, at some point, I think you got inside his head with the uh, the taunt, because <laughs> once I started F smashing, I just said, <laughs> "Woo, let's go!" <laughs> I heard it, man. It was getting inside his head at at two points when you were off stage. Rather than going for the punish and killing you, he would just taunt himself. Just wasted it. At the very end, I knew he was like he was on his like on his rope, so to speak. So mm -hmm. I knew he was just gonna charge in with the with the reckless side B. So I was like, "I have this F smash waiting for you. You wanna you wanna come through and get it?" And he did. He died at like 70. That nice charge up smash. Well, I gotta say, you knocked him out of winners, 3-1, and in grand finals, you took it 3-1. And 
seeing as how the past few PCGs have played out, this is this is crazy. Just a different style he did not expect. There's no download. No download. Uh, oh, keep going. At one point, uh, I think it was the game he won. Did you just sort of die to not give up momentum? Uh, in in uh, the in the grand finals. Yes, in grand finals. In grand finals. I was I like, was... I was coming down, and it was like, it was one of those situations where if I air dodged, I would take like mm -hmm. any number of punishes, and if I didn't air dodge, I got back aired. That's how I died. VP and I both expected you to just quit out the match, just to keep the momentum and take him somewhere else. Oh really? Yeah, but you got him back to duck hunt and. That definitely played out for you. So we're probably gonna end it now. Yeah. All right. Don't want a 15 minute. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Let me give you another handshake. Congratulations. You. you buy McDonald's for the boys tonight. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. If we find one. All right. We're gonna get Casey in here for the uh, the loser side interview.